Beatrice Ndora here. Who I trust requires vulnerability. Recently, I had a conversation with a person who told me this. Beatrice, I will never trust. I have surrounded myself with a big wall and the gate has a padlock. Nobody can open and get inside. And I asked, why? And this was the answer. Since my childhood to my present day, I have been hurt, abused, and disappointed. And I am tired of going this, through the same thing over and over. You see, trust requires vulnerability. And I agree it's difficult, especially for people who have been through abuse, abandonment, and a lot of hurt, a lot of rejection. But you don't have to live in that predicament forever. You must be willing to make yourself vulnerable to relate with other people. After all, no man is an island. You cannot achieve the fulfillment that life gives us when you live in isolation. So how do we start this journey? Number one, it is very important to identify your emotions. What are the emotions that you go through when you recall that abuse? that rejection, that abandonment. Somebody told me this, I better deal with my own demons rather than dealing with my mother who abandoned, rejected and abused us. Let me encourage you, you have the power to get yourself out of that predicament. You have the power to start the healing journey and living the healthy you. Number one, what are the benefits of living in that pain of rejection and abandonment and all those negative memories? What are the benefits of living in your past and not moving into the present moment and start healing? Think about that and name, name some of the things that comes in your, in your mind. Number two, start figuring out what are the benefits of choosing to work on myself and choosing to relate with other people. Let me encourage you with one thing. Relationships are all about risk taking whether it is with your family in employment with your peers it's all about risk taking we human beings we are vulnerable to hurting each other but even though we hurt we still have the power we still have the wisdom to heal if we choose to activate it and uh, let me say this we also fail to trust God. I have heard people saying, oh, I have nothing to do with God. He has abandoned me. He has forgotten me. He doesn't care about me. When we walk in, in this path, we are the problem. Not God, not the people who wounded us because they are still moving on with their life. They are still moving on with their daily activities. We are stuck in our own pain. We are stuck in the, in the atmosphere where we have surrounded ourselves with this wall. And we are the only ones who can choose to set ourselves free. We start doing that when we evaluate. I, I know, and I'm talking about my own experiences. Because when you've been through abuse, rejection, and, and, and all the negative things, you don't trust easily. 
But I reached a point and I evaluated what are my gains if I, co I continue rejecting people and not being receptive to any kind of friendship. I am torturing my mental health. I am torturing my emotional health. And I am also not growing in my spiritual health. Let me share this verse with you from Proverbs 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, without reigning on your own understanding. So it is about stepping out of your comfort zone, stepping out of, of what you've been used to and choosing to step in the unknown, in the uncharted waters of healing, the uncharted waters of taking tiny steps to relate with others and even to relate with God. Yes, you can do it. You are stronger than you imagine. And your mental, spiritual, and emotional health is paramount. Start working on it. Well, as usual, I enjoy talking to you, sharing with you. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who have subscribed to my channel and to my Musings podcast. And I encourage you to share with friends, connect with me. You can inbox me on social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I am a mental health coach, a professional counselor, and I can help you navigate whatever challenges you are going through. Call me. Yeah, call me. 717-296-1721. And I will speak to you next time.